Hi guys, big up to the yaddies. Hi love bugs. Very, very, very quick review on Married to Medicine because really nothing that much happened tonight in it. Um, so basically it's not going to be long. So it's um, season five, episode 11. Okay, so it basically started for Dr. Simone with she's talking to a patient in her office. Then we went to Mariah and Mariah and her husband. And they were talking about what happened between her and Dr. Heavenly. Then we go back to Dr. Heavenly talking to her therapist, which or spiritual guidance or therapy she needed spiritual guidance she needed therapy she needed a lot that lady has a serious issue i mean she's a smart lady but every week it's some kind of drama with her and she's cursed like it's nobody's business i i, I don't know what's going on with her then we would go back to to um dr heavenly we went back to dr heavenly which um is having a discussion with her husband she was packing to go on a trip and she was talking to her husband and her daughter <sighs> I could do when I, that that was like two minutes of my life. I can't get back. Nothing really happened, you know. So then we go to the airport where all of them are getting ready to go to the Bahamas. And they're all excited. All the husbands showed up and everybody was ready to go to the Bahamas. Um, I knew this was going to last long. All the happiness and peace. So, um, yeah, I forgot to talk about a part with um, Dr. Jackie. Her husband showed up on the, um, her husband showed up at our house. And then they had a um, Skype conversation with a therapist. I don't know. I guess the therapist must be a town, a town because they have the Skype conversation with the therapist. I think, like, it'd be better if they had a conversation with the therapist in purpose. In, in, I mean, like, together, like, seeing the therapist sit next to them and they talk to the therapist. But I guess it doesn't matter. It's 2018. You could do it that way if you want to. So, let's get back on track. So, we go back to, um, they're all at the airport. And guess who showed up? Oh, my God. Dr. Jackie's husband. Because... <laughs> Dr. Simone invited him. Oh God, before we end this, before I get any further into this, I should say that, oh my God, I'm so sorry to hear about Dr. Jack, Dr. Simone and her husband, because honestly, I thought I was going to hear about Quad and her husband getting divorced, not Dr. Simone. Oh my God. Let's hope they can work it out. And if not, I hope it's amicable and they all get along and find people that love them. I pray for them in the name of Jesus. Okay. So let's get back to it. So they all at the airport. So Dr. Jackie's husband showed up. And I'm like, what is he doing here? And basically, Dr. Simone invited him. Because she's like, oh, no, they're getting along so great. And we should, you know, maybe this will help them further in the relationship. I don't know if that was the right move. I think the fact is it will be better if they're by one and one Because now they're going to run a bunch of couples, okay? That relationship, most of them relationship, okay? Because some of them relationship are not. And I don't know if that's going to help them or not. We'll see. I, I mean, here's the thing. Jackie's. She loved her husband. And she obviously want a relationship work. And I, and I wish her luck. Frankly, I, I'm not sure if I'm trusting her husband like she is giving a benefit. But, but guess what? I'm just doing a blog. I mean, I'm just doing a review. That's her husband. She knows him, so she should know what's best for her. So they got to um, the Bahamas, Barbados, whatever. They they got there, and basically they were showing each other the rooms, which room is the best room. Until we got to Dr. Jackie and her husband, which I think Dr. Heavenly did a smart move. When she basically separate the room and give them one bed here and one bed here, because I don't, I don't think Jack and Jackie is ready for that yet. But so, but after that, they all sit around the table having a drink because they were so happy that the bar was there. Everybody was having a drink and talking, and basically, Quad made it pretty freaking clear to everybody. Dr. Jackie and her husband sitting there with Quad and her husband, and she's like, "Listen, my husband, my marriage right now is in danger. Okay, this is why I love about Quad. She keep it one hundred. She don't try to fake it. She don't try to pretend like everything is okay. She let you know, like, listen, my marriage is not in a good point right now." And I'm trying to make it work, so let's see what happens. Then we go back to them, uh, showed up, uh, it was beautiful though, like they're outside on the beach and they showed up and, and all the female was dancing and all the husbands said, let's take a picture of this because this talk, <laughs> amen brothers, I don't think it's going to last too long. It probably like get in 15 minutes and they start fighting again. I mean, tonight episode was kind of slow, I'm not going to lie, but the part that was really sad is when he got to there talking about playing a game and asked the husband about like, you know, things about their wife and stuff. And it was so sad because Quad and her husband had a lot, like, basically, that's why I'm shocked to hear Dr. Simone is divorcing her husband and not, and at Quad and her husband because Quad and her husband got almost all the questions wrong. Um, and Dr. Simone, but you know what, gave me like dirt and dirt and dirt when Dr. Simone said her husband never told her he loves her after 21 years of marriage. How could you not tell your wife of the... 20 years of marriage that you love her. That makes absolutely no sense to me. So I always thought their marriage was perfect. But I guess on TV you see what you want to see. In reality there's something different. That's why I always say. Don't ever look at somebody else's marriage. And judge your marriage based on that. Because nobody's marriage is perfect. And everybody who pretend their marriage is perfect. It's absolutely a lie. They're faking it. 
Okay, so tonight episode was not really that good. It was kind of slow. There was nothing into it. At the end, um, our sweet, wonderful darling, darling, what's her name? She was talking to Dr. Jackie about Dr. Jackie, husband. It, it, that start, that was like way at the beginning when, um, um, she, they were at the room and, um, Dr. Jackie's husband, who I don't really trust, was sitting there and, um, it wasn't quad. I forgot her name. Um, oh my God. I totally forgot her name. She showed up there with her husband. Um. The, the one, what is her name? She has two kids, the two little boys. Oh, my God. And she's not a doctor, but her husband is a doctor. I totally forgot her name. Anyway, she sit there. You guys know what I'm talking about. She was sitting there, Dr. Jack, and she was like, listen, your husband basically, your husband basically um pulled me um to sit on his lap, you know. But here's the thing, honey. You say that to her, but here's my problem with that. Her husband might have pulled you to sit on her lap, but guess what, sweetheart? You sat in his lap back. You sat in his lap. First, if he pulled, you should have pulled back up and said, what are you doing? But you sat in his lap like he was trying to prove a point to her. That was not cool. Your husband was sitting there. Be very respectful. That is still Jack, Dr. Jackie's husband. And I don't care if he pulled you in your lap or not. You should, when he put, you got, you sit there for a good, like a minute, like showing that, oh my God, he put me in your lap. So what? Get up. You need to stop telling everybody what they should do about your marriage. Focus on your marriage and stop focusing on Dr. Jackie's marriage. So it was kind of boring last night. It was nothing much to it. Okay. <gasps> there was no ratchet that really. And you know everybody watching for the ratchet that. But anyway, that is my review on the um, Married to Meredith Season 5, Episode 11. Thank you guys for watching so much. Please press the like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.